doc, let's talk about that. When we hear the term traumatic injury, I'm, I'm freaking out. Right. Is that the same thing as a concussion? A concussion is a sort of traumatic brain injury. Okay. Okay. So traumatic brain injury basically is when you when you your head strikes, your your head is struck, mm -hmm. and your brain moves around in that hard case, which is a skull. Right. You can. You, no, that's. Oh, yeah, there, there we are. Over there. Okay. <laughs> over there. Over there on, on the on the graphic. Um, so what you have is you know your your brain is essentially almost gelatinous. It's almost like jello inside of a hard case. And when it shakes around or it gets banged around, it can cause injury and, and insult to those neurons in there. Now, what's important for parents to know is that that injury can happen in a very mild fashion. I mean, literally a kid you know, running around the, the, the house and the floor is wet, they slip on a towel and they hit their head on the floor. Um, that can result in a concussion. Uh, it can be, yeah, it can be sports such as football, but you know, for women or for girls, uh, soccer is a major contributor. Soccer, soccer is actually, really? yes, uh, girls soccer is now one of the most uh, uh, prominent or uh, sources for concussion in girls because it's a sport that's played almost universally now mm -hmm. in the United States. It's very popular. Um, there's a lot of high speed, you know, there's this ball that's running, you know, getting kicked around. Um, there's headers involved, and there's some limitations on younger kids in the, in the leagues, whether or not they can actually do headers or not. Right. Um, there, you know, kids are falling on the ground, uh, knees and, and feet flying around. So whether it's football, soccer, uh, any sport, uh, or non-sport, you want to be really kind of aware of, of your child's symptoms if they strike their head or, or their head is struck by something. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, but this is not just an injury for kids. I mean, concussions can happen to anyone at any age. Absolutely. I mean, there's obviously been a lot of uh, media and, and and news about the NFL and mm -hmm. other other CTE and, and that kind of thing. So I think the, the jury's still out on on you know a, a lot of that. But the, the the real point is you want to be vigilant as a parent and, and keep your kids and, and uh, understand what the symptoms are and keep right. your kids in in, in a in a uh, in a place where you understand that. If they have any kind of injury, they need to get evaluated by a medical professional.